Hello everyone, welcome to Pam Reading Freya. This is going to be general reading for everyone under the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Let's see what is important to know for you for the month of March. This tarot card reading is for everyone under the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Please allow me to see what is important to know for Sagittarius for the month of March. I'm open to receive for Sagittarius. Okay, let's cut the deck. Begin pulling you cards. Okay, let's see. Sagittarius. Let's see if I can push this down just a little. Looks like it's not possible because then my face will not be on the frame. Okay, let's see who's bringing this energy. Okay, let's pull one card for guidance. Guidance for Sagittarius. Guidance. We have Guardian. Um, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Okay, so this is the card I pull for you. And that on the top it says Artemis. Okay, so if you wish, you can look it up. On, on YouTube or on Google, uh, the meaning of the guardian Artemis, okay? Well, or the God. Okay, so let's see for love. When it comes to love, what is important to know for Sagittarius? I'm open to receive for Sagittarius when it comes to love. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youth, a spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so that is going to be important for you, last card. Only because I feel it might be important. Guidance for Sagittarius. Soul card. Soul message. Okay, so, comenzamos. Okay. I have this card for you. Um... This card, as soon as I see it, okay, this is an indication, okay, uh, either you are thinking about a person or trying to um, have a, either a conversation, wait, let me see how I do I get this, I don't know, I just feel love, okay, it's there is love for someone and you are trying to either reach out to that person or get in touch with that person but also at the same time there is this um, of not knowing how or maybe this is that you uh, are, don't know at this moment where you're standing okay not clear about a situation or not clear about um, this person uh, not clear about this person's feelings but I just feel, okay, there is mutual love. There is mutual love. There is mutual thinking. There is mutual um, either trying to reach out to each other or mutual um, energetically uh, trying to come together with this person. It's like if you are thinking about that person and feeling love for that person and that person, okay, it's too bright. And that person also as well, thinking about you, dreaming about you and having feelings for you. Okay, so let's begin with the cars. Um, so the first thing I began seeing for you guys is that you had deal with a situation um, that is uh, stressful for some of you. For some of you, uh, it's a painful situation, um, deception, betrayal. Uh, this is a complication that involves, that involves three people. This is either in between you, your husband, another woman, you, your partner, another man. Um, this can also be a clear indication of what I was trying to to pull out, out of um, this feeling, okay? Maybe it, this is a this is this is clearly that you are already in a relationship, 
but either are thinking about someone else or having feelings for someone else. And if, okay, for some of you, um, you don't know who that person is or this doesn't make sense, it is clear to me that for most of you, it will make perfect sense in the clear future. Okay, so there's these feelings of um, going through hurtful periods of times. This is a situation in the which you either feel deception, disillusion, sadness, and have cried about it, and are still are still dealing, okay? Because for some of you, I feel this situation very, very fresh, okay? Very fresh. But also, that situation, okay? Either if it was with family members or your partner, is, is going to slowly begin bringing you clarity about what is best for you to do. What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? And when you are going to do it? Um, I also feel that you are going to be um, defending yourself, okay? Or extending your ground when it comes to the clarity that you already have and the things that you want to do. But this, I feel it more like you uh, standing your ground or saying what you're going to do because of family, okay? This is uh, either, okay, family members are um, coming to you asking for an explanation. Why are you doing this? Uh, what is happening? What is going on? And etc. things like that, okay? I do see you um, keeping them, okay, you know what? Uh, this is none of your business for now, or maybe you're not answering their messages. You're not answering their messages and communicating because you you just feel that um, I don't have to do this right now, okay? Either you don't answer messages or you just like, you know what? This is what is happening. See you later. Goodbye. Uh, but this is bringing a lot of clarity, okay? It's a lot of clarity. It's a lot of um, into action, okay? What is best for you to do and how you are going to do it after a very stressful period of time. In the month of March, you're going to be resolving all these issues, okay? Either past hurts and emotions, um, standing your ground about your decisions and what are you about to do and moving ahead in life with clear mind and clear, more of a clean heart, okay? Now, I just happened to see a bird um, that to me, okay, this bird indicates peace, okay? So this is clear to me after a stress, very stressful period of time for you Sagittarius, there comes peace. And also with this peace, there comes love. You're going to have love offers. Love is knocking again on your door. There's going to be a lot of playfulness. There's going to be a lot of um, back and forth, okay, of giving and receiving and communication. This is also bringing some struggles once and again with the family. For this, I see the number five. This indicates, okay, four people and you makes number five. Uh, this is the struggles, okay, that you can avoid in the month of March, uh, Sagittarius, are going to be easily fixable with communication, okay? This means like, okay, everybody's doing whatever they want to do and no one is communicating, okay? If you bring the communication and you are the one that is that brings these people on the same page um, with communicating with them and saying, okay, this is what we're going to do. We are going to move and we are all going to start packing. You're going to do this. You're going to do that do this and I'm going to focus on this, okay? If you bring that communication and if you bring this group together, then things are going to work better for you, okay? For you, I see changes for the better. For you, I, for some of you, I see you moving into a new home, okay? Um, moving into a new home, having new, having new and positive changes in life. While you're going, going through these changes, um, it can be a little stressful, okay, but you can help the situation if you communicate effectively with everyone that is around you, okay. I do see, I see you, okay, also once and again dealing, okay, with a man. This man tends to go round and round in circles. He is um, 
not very good at communicating right now with you. Um, this is going to feel to you like, okay, you know what? Um, if for now I have to say this is a loss cause, you're going to decide I'm going to leave it at that because you are following your heart, you are following your intuition, you are following what is either the truth and the reality of what you are following your heart and your feelings, okay, into what you do feel and believe is best for you at this moment. And that is what is going to bring you the happiness, the happiness and the balance back into your life. If you trust in yourself and if you believe in yourself, yes, you can do it. Yes, you are on the right track. Know that you and your loved ones are going to have everything that you need. Also, that you will be guided and protected. You are not alone. It's forces at play, okay? It's forces at play. And also, this is a clear indication that um, either your angels, your guides, or your past loved ones are going to be there, okay? Either to be, be there in your dreams um, and, very, and very strong um Maybe premoni premonitions or gut instincts. Follow those gut instincts. Follow your heart, and everything is gonna begin falling into place for you. Okay, for begin, everything is gonna begin falling into place for you, as long as you trust that um, as you trust and believe, and only okay, if you are following your heart what your heart is telling you, where your passion and your real love is at. Not basing decisions in fear and not taking a step back, okay, into something that no longer serves you. Because the changes that you are going to be experiencing in the month of March are going to be positive, are, are, are for the better, and it's going to be important for you, Sagittarius, to get on board with those changes. Do not resist them. That is all I have for you, Sagittarius. Uh, thank you for allowing me to read for you. If you guys would like to uh, book a private consultation with me so that we can talk about what is important for you and only for you, please, in the description box um, is, are all the details. Check in there how to contact me. Thank you for allowing me to read for you. I wish you a wonderful month. Bye.